Hey guys, it's Melanie, uh, new location, who dis? <laughs> so I don't typically film any of my like beauty related content downstairs. However, I walked into my back bedroom upstairs where I typically film the majority of my videos. And I realized that I left my desk up there a complete disaster yesterday, didn't clean it up. And uh, like a normal person, I saw the mess and was like, uh, this is overwhelming. So I backed out of the room and I closed the door and um, I'm gonna deal with that later. <laughs> Meanwhile, welcome to my mess downstairs. So obviously there's some holiday decor coming up. Um, please don't get stressed about that. I So I film a Decorate With Me series. It takes me a long time to decorate for the holidays. It takes me uh, a long time to film things and then to edit them. And so if I wanna get this content up at the beginning of December, I gotta start now. So um, I'm sure you hear this spiel from a lot of people here on YouTube. Hopefully, uh, you know, you're not gonna have like an aneurysm or anything, <laughs> but yeah, it's a little bit of a mess because today I'm going to be filming myself uh, jazzing up this mantle up here. So. Anyway, hopefully, uh, hopefully you can get past this. Um, also, I have a pug in my lap. Can you guys see him? Oh, there he is. He's the sweetest boy. Oh my gosh. If you know me at all, you know that I am happiest when I have a pug in my lap. And so I feel really content right now. And this is the perfect time to film a favorites video. And this has been requested from a lot of you guys. And it actually kind of surprised me how many of you have requested this. But it is my favorite dossier fragrances. And I thought that I would pick fragrances that would be maybe slightly more appropriate for this time of year. So late fall, into the holidays, but also, you know, after the holidays, January, February, during the winter months. And so I have a lineup of five of my top favorite fragrances that I think would be perfect for this time of year. I will say I did pick a couple of slightly heavier like floral type fragrances. Um, I think those could be used obviously year round, but I think they have enough like patchouli and musk and vanilla in them to also make them appropriate for this time of year as well. So um, if you are not familiar, Dossier is a, uh, a fragrance dupe company, essentially. I've been a Dossier ambassador for going on, I think it's actually been close to a couple of years now. I cannot even remember the first time that they reached out, but they are, they have been fantastic to work with. I love that they support my channel. They do from time to time send me some PR. Um, but I have also purchased a lot of fragrances from them as well. I have a lot of Dossier fragrances. It was actually a little hard to narrow it down to just my top five, but I think I have the best of the best here. So, but um, the, we all know that the holidays are coming up and I do know that Dossier has some pretty good deals that are gonna be coming up for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, most of us do our shopping online now. Um, is that my favorite way to shop? Uh, I don't know, not necessarily. I'm still one of those people that likes to go in store, but there, uh, there's honestly just, just some really great deals out there from a lot of these companies that sell just exclusively online. So Dossier is one of those. Um, their dupes are, many of them are absolutely spot on for me there's a few where you know i can pick up some subtle differences from the original and for a number of these i actually have the original fragrances upstairs in my master bedroom i receive a lot of like personal fragrance gifts from people people know like when i walk into the room it's just like there's always perfume that's like wafting off of me right so most of my friends, most of my family know that I'm kind of a perfume addict. And so they will purchase me uh, amazing gifts, but they're typically not from cruelty-free companies. And if I am going to purchase something, I would rather that it would be from a cruelty-free company. The only reason is that, um, I don't know, I just, I think that the animal testing is unnecessary. And so if I can give my money to someone that doesn't do that, I would rather do that so that's another reason that i really love dossier also they offer this ability to combine and save so 
if you purchase two or more fragrances, three or more fragrances, five or more fragrances, you're going to save more money. So as we go into the holidays, if you have several girlfriends that you would like to purchase some really nice personal fragrances for, um, this would be a great way to purchase a bunch and then just gift them out and know that you saved uh, quite a few bucks by bundling. And also pick up a new fragrance for yourself because yeah, tis the season. <laughs> Don't just treat other people, treat yourself too. So, all right, you guys, let's get into it. I am going to start with probably one of my all time favorites from them and it is the dupe for the Baccarat Rouge 540. I have the original upstairs. It was a gift from a girlfriend and it was insanely generous. Um, it is a uh, like a smaller travel size spray and it came in this beautiful like gold metal container it's absolutely stunning like this thing is beautiful um and i love the original however not cruelty free uh so luckily dossier has ambery saffron so obviously the packaging for dossier is a little bit more simple you are not paying for a really fancy like faceted like crystal type bottle like you're you're paying for some they all come in the same package right they have a very simple clean label on them that tells you the name of the fragrance. In this case, it's Ambery Saffron. It also tells you what the fragrance notes are. By the way, when you order from Dossier, all of your fragrances come packed individually in a box. There is also a card that comes with it. So if you don't like the fragrance or it doesn't jive with your body chemistry, you can told there's instructions on there on how to exchange the fragrance or how to return it and get your money back. Um, there is the perfume concentration again the fragrance notes it's like a really kind of informative experience to get these fragrances which I think is kind of unique and different and this one here you guys this is I think the cl one of the closest dupes that I have ever found um, I actually really like the Ariana Grande cloud perfume as well however I will say that one is much sweeter the ambery saffron I think is more true to the original where it has that beautiful muskiness to it that like this is not a powerhouse fragrance this is the type of fragrance where you might want to wear this on like a date night or something because it's the kind of fragrance that people like want to get close to you to be able to smell this is not going to smack someone in the face it is one of those like you know hey I, I smell amazing and I know it and the second that you come in for a hug or you know like a kiss or something like you're gonna smell it and it just it smells so good you guys this one with my body chemistry is like spot on Craig loves this one for me and while I love the original I think that this dupe is just as good so if you're on the market for a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540 this is fantastic great lasting power on this one I find that the lasting power of uh, actually some of these dossier fragrances is even better than the original so um that's pretty pretty amazing okay next is another one of my favorites and this one you guys have heard me t you okay oh he's got an itch <laughs> Um, this one you've heard me mention multiple times in my Friday favorites. I wear this one quite frequently. It is Woody Chestnut and it's a dupe for the Maison Margiela by the Fireplace. Um, hello, if you've never smelled that and if you are a big fan of the Marshmallow Fireside Candle at Bath and Body Works, you gotta have this. It just smells so good. This is like, this type of fragrance is what i would wear if we were going like on a weekend trip to a cabin like up at mount hood or something like it just reminds me of a log cabin during the winter with a warm cozy fire just going in the fireplace lots of amazing snacks around and just beautiful kind of like slightly sweet embery woody notes i love this I just absolutely adore this. So, um, oh, I didn't tell you guys the fragrance notes. Um, shoot. <laughs> okay, so let's do the Ambery Saffron real quick because I, sh I should probably tell you what the fragrance notes are. Okay, top notes for Ambery Saffron are saffron and orange blossom. Your middle notes are jasmine, plum, and cedarwood. And your base notes are oak moss, fir balsam, and amber. Now for woody chestnut, you guys, this is so spot on for the original. It, it's, 
And I know the original quite well because every time I go into Sephora, I always go and spritz myself with By the Fireplace. I'd never buy it, but I would 100% always spray myself with that. It just is so warm and cozy, you guys. So your notes here are, the top notes are pink pepper, orange blossom, and cloves. Oh, you can smell the cloves in here. Just beautiful. Also, the middle notes, the chestnut. Oh, the chestnut in here is so lovely. Um, guayac wood. I know, I'm pro I butcher that one all the time. I'm sorry. You also have some cave wood in here. You have base notes of vanilla, peru, balsam, and cedar wood. Ugh, it just has the most beautiful woodiness, smokiness, touch of sweetness. Sorry about the snoring, by the way. That's, that's the pug life. Um, I think of it as pug ASMR. Hopefully it soothes you as well. But trust me, just get it. It's delightful. Okay, next. I love me some Armani C. And I do have a bottle of this upstairs. It was a gift from, actually, I think that was a gift from Craig. I think maybe he was at like Costco one day or something and he saw that they had the perfumes because Costco will sometimes have perfumes, obviously. And he picked one out and it was Armani C. I don't think he knew anything about it. He was like, oh, it looks like a pretty bottle. <laughs> and he brought it home. And you guys, a dossier has a dupe and it is so spot on. This is another one of those where I'm just like, I cannot, I cannot really tell the difference between the two. So Woody Frisia um, is Armani C and the top notes to this one are Frisia, Blackcurrant and Strawberry. Your middle notes are Rose, Jasmine and Peach. Your base is Patchouli, Vanilla, Blonde Woods and Musk. So. Normally with fragrances like this, I would be more inclined to recommend them as like spring summer fragrances, but because the fact that there is patchouli in here, there's musk, there's the vanilla. Um, this one also, it's, it's kind of universal in terms of like what season it's appropriate for. I really think that I could wear this easily during the summer. Uh oh. We have had like a ton of deer walking across. We have like a deer pathway or something that goes right across the middle of our front yard. And so every time the deer go across, the ring camera goes off and it drives Alf absolutely insane. Anyway, where was I? Um, so we have patchouli, vanilla, the blonde woods, the musk. Yeah, this to me just, it's it smells like it could be a spring and summer fragrance, but also because of those particular notes, I also put it in the fall and winter category. I love it. It's it's beautiful. It's sophisticated. This is one of those total like fancy lady scents. Like whenever I've smelled Armani C on other women, um, those women have usually been like quite glamorous. And not that I think everybody has to be glamorous or a fancy lady, but I don't know. I just, I think it's fun to be a fancy lady. Clearly I'm not, but you know, I can pretend. <laughs> anyway, this is amazing. You should definitely check this out, especially if you love the OG. Okay, next. Now this one is a newer favorite for me and it's a Tom Ford dupe. And this is uh, powdery tobacco, which is a dupe for the Tom Ford tobacco vanilla. We all know that Tom Ford makes some amazing fragrances, but they are very expensive. Now this particular one, I don't think that I've ever actually smelled the original. So I don't know if this is like the most spot on but I can tell you, and actually I've not doused myself today, so let's do it. I just love this one. It is heavy on a, it's almost like a vanilla bourbon type note that comes across to me. And once I spray it on myself, it gets a little bit sweeter. Like it just is such an interesting fragrance. Oh, I love this one. Okay, so what are your notes here? Your top notes are tobacco, ginger, and apricot. Your middle notes are honey, vanilla, and cocoa. And your base notes are tonka bean, dry fruits, and blonde woods. You guys, that tonka note is very, very evident in here. Tonka, to me, kind of smells like a vanilla that had all of the sweetness taken out of it and a bit of, like, musk added to it. I love tonka. Um, I know there are some people that don't really like it, but it works really well with my body chemistry. 
and this one oh like when I put this on like every time I'm just so surprised by how like it changes from when I smell it in the bottle to when it transfers onto my skin it is absolutely lovely and this is the great thing about dossier is if you get one of these fragrances and you spray it on yourself and you're like what happened um it just means that it's not it's not right for your particular body chemistry right you can still use the fragrance you can spray it on your clothes i certainly have some fragrances that i cannot wear on my skin i have to put them on my clothes and that's fine um i just know that you know that's the only way that I can enjoy those fragrances. Some fragrances turn sour on me. Some smell a little bit more bitter. Um, your body chemistry is really going to determine ultimately how the fragrance ends up smelling in the long run, right? Like you can put one fragrance on one person and put the same fragrance on another person. And if you smell them like on the skin, they could be totally different. So something definitely worth keeping in mind. All right, and the last one is, it's another kind of slightly more floral fragrance. I really like this one. This is another one of those fragrances. Um, so when I go into Ulta, so at Sephora, I usually head to the Maison Margiela by the fireplace. Now at Ulta, I go for the Lancome Idole. Uh, have you guys smelled that? Oh, it's beautiful. Again, Lancome, not cruelty free. Ah, this is it, you guys. Now this one is another one where there's just a slight difference. I don't know what the difference is, but I'm gonna spray it over here. God, I'm gonna smell like a hot mess. <laughs> These two, uh, the, uh, the powdery tobacco and the floral musk don't actually really go well together. So thank goodness you guys aren't here, but. Oh, it's, it's so close. It's so close, but there's just a touch of difference. This one smells almost a little bit warmer than the original if that makes sense your top notes here are per uh per <laughs> pear if you will bergamot and lychee your middle notes are jasmine and rose and your base notes are musk and vanilla and patchouli i love patchouli i think that patchouli really has a bad rap like it doesn't have to smell like dirty hippie you guys like there is the dirty hippie patchouli and then there is just a beautiful perfumey more sophisticated patchouli and that's what's in here again that muskiness the vanilla uh, and those floral notes of the jasmine and the rose it's mwah, absolute perfection now this is another one that i think would be perfect for year round it's kind of like the woody freesia right yep the woody freesia which is the armani sea dupe which i think could really be worn year round man but this one too is oh, it's lovely absolutely lovely Anyway, you guys, those are my top, uh, these are my top five picks for you, my favorite dossier fragrances, um, at least for the, the current months. I will definitely do another video like this for the spring and summer next year, so stay tuned. Let me know what your favorite dossier fragrance is. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will put the link to where you can shop with dossier in the description box below this video. Make sure you sign up for their emails. They're going to be sending out all sorts of sales and, you know, like the holidays are coming, so prepare yourself. But they might send out some uh, specials via email that you might want to snatch up. So make sure you sign up for their emails. Let me know if you guys have any questions. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.